right, let's go ahead and just get into this. You know what I'm saying? Another intro. Thing. Let's go ahead and get into this. So, uh, welcome to another old fast six family show. You already know the chat time at K. Uh, coming to you with another show. Um, is Boosie wrong for what he said? You know, um, so it's been a little controversy going on for us, uh, what the, the baby said and and and, and the whole little no little, little Nas X and and things like that. So um, <laughs> Boosie funny as hell, man. Shout out to little Boosie though, he funny as hell though. But I mean, is he wrong for what he said? Now you can criticize people for what they say, right? All day long. All day long, you know, criticize people because they speak how they feel. We haven't been a crime for people speaking how they feel. Now he said shit. What he said about Lil Nas X, like, uh, like don't nobody care, like, and 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 that don't make a person homophobic. See. To the LGBTQ, see, I pulled the did I did a whole, you know, the show or whatever, but for some reason, uh, I try to upload it, and, and it just ain't happening. And that, like, I don't know what's going on. It won't let me upload it. So, uh, but to the LGBT community out there, man, come on, man, come on, man, come on. Come on, y'all gotta stop this shit. Y'all can't be too quick to list people as homophobic because of the way they feel. They, they speak how they feel. What y'all gonna label? Y'all gonna label people as murderers and killers all the time? And what if they say, man, have a thing and, and come back and say, man, what the fuck? Woo, woo, and, and start a whole movement about murders and killers and drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. But even with on my previous one of my shows with uh with my family um shout out to Caramel Hayes shout out to uh Shay J and everything much love my old fast six family and um, I also had them on um on the show and 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 Caramel Hayes she, she she married to a woman so I don't have no problem with that you no know, like I said I, it's I, people don't have a problem with you guys want to be gay and things like that. It's just the shit that you do. Now, Lil Nas X talking about he want to do a showcase uh, and, and and do a show performance naked on stage and shit. Like, come on, man. You got a line for that, buddy. This ain't no homophobia. This ain't no thing like that. It just, come on, man. It's kids out here that watch TV. I mean, you already did the little video thing. But come on, man. Seriously, but people criticize Boosie for what he says. How that the man spoke? How he spoke? Shit, is 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 inappropriate. And like I said, if if people said he was inappropriate for saying put your put your pussy on live for a thousand, uh, put your pussy on live, I give you a thousand dollars and shit. Uh, he got criticized for that. He got criticized throughout the little quarantine thing with women on there dancing naked and doing all type of uh whatever. He got criticized for that. His channel, his uh, his his page got snatched. But Lil Nas X can promote a video with him in the shower twerking naked, and that should be okay. Now this ain't no hating shit. We don't hate. I don't hate. You know what I'm saying? But come on, man. You can't get mad at if a person say that is inappropriate. Now, if Boosie might say, "Yeah, what I did probably kids is inappropriate." He probably, who knows? I don't know. But is he wrong for that? I'm just saying, is he wrong for that? He got I mean, can't be wrong for it. I mean, I know if I'm at a show. And a motherfucker dancing on stage and he just stripped butt ass naked on stage. 
Hey man, we look, we look, we're gonna have to get you about this stage with that, man. That's inappropriate. You can't get mad at shit like that, man. If a person say that, that don't that don't really classify him as a homophobic. And then L. John put a damn post up uh, or tweet up saying some, what was it? Uh, uh, fifty percent of black men got AIDS and shit. Like who the fuck? Who the fuck told you? That? Why you ain't say fifty percent of white people had AIDS? Why you ain't say fifty percent? It just fifty percent of black people got AIDS. You know, I kind of ran through the little tweets quick though, but I've been seeing everything. But I mean, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? But promoting homosexuality, look, like I said, what you do in your bedroom ain't got shit to do with me. But when you display that shit in the eyes of the public and it's people children around, come on, man. Like, y'all pushing it, man. Like, man, look. And for you LGBTQ dude that jumped in my inbox with that bullshit, look here. Pay attention to what I said. Before you be quick to call a person homophobic. Us straight men ain't homophobic. We don't, look, we don't care what you do in your bedroom. We don't care if you like to, you know, put things all up in the look. You know, we don't care if you like to get your shit tickled, whatever, by another man. Hey, that's on you, fam. Who care? But when you putting that shit out there for kids to see, that's a problem. That's a problem. And like I say, well, I don't care if people being who they are. It's just when you putting that shit around kids and, and things of that nature, then yes, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. Cause ain't no you I ain't convinced that uh I'm just saying that's just me I feel my opinion. I ain't convinced that a, a little boy can wake up and decide he's a little girl, a little girl wake up and say she's a boy. Mm -mm. Ain't no such thing. You was born what you supposed to have been born. Now, my question is, is it what was introduced to this child? I mean, what was introduced to this child? So it's so much homophobic things that's going on around children, around kids. That ain't cool. That is not cool at all. Period. And I'm I'm all for what he said. You know, that's wrong. Period. Period. If if I get out here and start slapping people, not saying I'm inciting or that's what I'm going to do, or that's what I'm on doing, I'm not on it. I'm just using that as an example. If I be like, okay, well, I'm gonna get out here and start slapping every motherfucker I see. Y'all be like, man, you wrong, you can't be putting your hands on people. Right? I'm just saying, let's let's just be clear here. What is we doing out here in these streets? Why is it is it's always a problem when when a, when a man step up and 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 speak on what's foul play? I mean, young boy, you already had a satanic video, <laughs> which that's a, a ritual, a, a satanist homosexual ritual look like to me. But let's be real. Is Boosie wrong for this? Is he wrong for what he said? Hell, is the baby wrong for what he said? I mean, whatever happened to freedom of speech? A person can't can't express how they can't express how they feel. I'm just saying. How can you get mad at a person because they express how they feel? So, I mean, that's just something to think about. So, in my eyes. I feel that Boosie ain't wrong for how he came out and, and what he said. And I don't feel I don't feel that he wrong for that, but so be it. If you guys think he wrong for it, then so be it. So that's my time. I'm out. Y'all have a good night.